Hey everybody, hope and pray that you're doing well. Today as we come to our word from the word, and today that word is dedicated, dedicated. Still following along in 2 Samuel and in chapter 15. Um, really today we're going to see something, it's not so much a prayer as some of them have been, uh, but still as we see this phrase, as the Lord lives, it's uh, the way I like to look at that is, I mean, it, it is saying that God is my witness. And so uh, we know that there's a lot going on in David's life. And and right now we find out that Absalom, you know, uh, we talked about yesterday and uh, the deceit that was going on there. And the fact that you can only imagine how betrayed David would have felt, not only from Absalom, but from the people that you would think would follow him and the people that would stand up for him. Um, and we'll find out even more about that as the week goes on. But one thing today I want us to see about being dedicated is it's amazing that sometimes the most dedicated people come in the most unlikely places. And so that's what I want us to look at today and see how that dedication applies um, to our prayer lives as well. But 2 Samuel chapter 15, uh, reading verses 19 through 21 today says, Then the king said to Ittai the Gittite, Why are you also going with us? Return and remain with the king, for you are a foreigner and also an exile from your own place. In fact, you came only yesterday. Should I make you wander up and down with us today? Since I go, I know not where. Return and take your brethren back. Mercy and truth be with you. But Ittai answered the king and said, As the Lord lives. And as my Lord, the king lives, surely in whatever place my Lord, the king shall be, whether in life or uh, in death or life, even there also your servant will be. Now, if you read the context of all this, this is amazing that this is basically once a former enemy that has basically sworn his allegiance to David. He says, no, he, he's not even going to worry about going home, that whatever happens to David, that's what's going to happen to him. And here's the thing, Here, here's where I want to tie this into our prayer lives and our relationship with God today. As David had seemed to be abandoned and betrayed by so many, now as he's he's in exile and essentially running for his life because he knows that Absalom is going to try to take over and, and could really cause a lot of harm to them as well. And so in this time, there's a, I'm sure there's a lot of different emotions, but as, as David is kind of counting to see what troops he has with him, and he sees basically these former enemies that have now sworn allegiance to him. Now, you can only imagine the emotions that he's going through. But part of this, I, I couldn't help but think that, you know, even in our lives today, right, with, with there being so many lines of division today, uh, that we see, and we know that, hey, the gospel divides, uh, Jesus Christ divides, right? And, and, but at the same time, he also is saying, whosoever will may come. But, but the thing that I, I think is really interesting here is that not only did an enemy swear his allegiance to David, but I wonder how often we will say, look, I'll do whatever I can do. I will, I, I will die. We'd be, we'll say that we're willing to die for other people. Right. That if we have those people that we love, we're willing to uh, sacrifice anything and everything. And then we even have those friends and acquaintances that we'll say, look, uh, and I say even more than acquaintances, but those those true dear friends that we say, look, if you ever have a need, whatever it is, let me know. I will be more than happy to to, to just drop everything and come help. And, and I know many of you have done that before. And you if you've also seen other people do this. But I could not help but think how often we would be dedicated to other people. But then think, how dedicated are we to the Lord? wonder how often when the Lord asks us to do something, are we willing to drop everything to come to him? Are we willing to drop everything and serve him? Are we willing to drop everything and, and go share the gospel? Are we willing to drop everything and pray? Are we willing to abandon everything that we would desire ourselves? Even as uh, Ittai says to David, look, it doesn't matter. Whatever happens to you, I want to happen to me. I wonder how many of us today would be that dedicated to the Lord. But I wonder today also if, 
if you would be willing to just maybe simply pray that prayer today. God, I'm willing to give anything for you today. I'm willing to stand for you in any situation. I'm ready to stand where you want me to stand. I'm ready to go where you want me to go. I'm ready to sit where you want me to sit. I'm ready to speak what you want me to speak. I'm ready to be quiet when I need to be quiet. Whatever the case may be. Lord, I want to be dedicated to you today. That's something to think about for sure. God bless you all. And I pray you have a great, great day.